understand what he likes to cook a guy. <clears throat> Correctly. Like, like oh, I have to know that channel. I, I can look it up later, but he'll they put on actual fights where they dis- they try to determine which medieval weapons are better in a 1v1 scenario. The spear. The spear is what's best, but especially if it's a yeah. spear and a shield because he's able to really like parry away any sort of sword play and uh, the axe is too slow to deal with him and he gets in these thrusts that are just lethal. Now, obviously, they're using like foam-tipped spears and stuff and and like the swords are less than lethal as well like um like like he- like hard rubber like, yeah. like 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 it's not flopping but it's also not slicing anybody's arms off and they go at it hard like they go at it as hard as that medieval combat shit we watched cool. where the guy got knocked unconscious and there's a point system and a judge and they you know these two Spears. guys that are going at it like there are people who ah, so there are those people who frolic in the park dressed as knights and 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 yell like thunderstrike thunderstrike sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't them this isn't them okay this is this is some people who are actually thunderbolt thunderbolt <laughs> yeah this isn't those guys these guys are actually interested in legitimate like uh like like sword combat and that sort of thing and medieval stuff i think he also does a lot of like tests with spears and bows to see like how fast, how many, how fast can you throw these spears if you're just grabbing them and throwing them and how accurate and stuff like that. But I want to say the spear, especially the spear combined with the shield, beat everything because you right. couldn't get in with a sword. You couldn't I, get anywhere near the guy with a sword. I, so I have no expertise. <laughs> that won't stop me. I have this idea there's a sweet spot for the length of this thing, right? Like mm-hmm. it, uh, sometimes I exaggerate to make a point. So if my spear was 16 feet long and your sword was three, I think you'd beat me. You'd find it easy to parry that thing and then get away. You could get the on the inside, and you yeah. can even like ca- right? uh, capture it. Meanwhile, I'm trying to deal with the heavy, unwieldy pole. Right? That that's a problem. So, like, I just guess you just that's... choke up on it. <laughs> yeah, right? sixteen feet is pretty long. <laughs> you have, have eight feet. <laughs> okay, you're right. All right. All right. True. <laughs> <laughs> but I. Uh, uh, you know, maybe an eight foot spear is the sweet spot, not the three foot sword like I thought, but that's what I thought. I thought the sword, I'd, you'd somehow be able to get in, inside of the tip and then the spear sucks and all you have is a shield. So I wish we could watch the video, but I, yeah. just for everybody's, I'll link it here just so you guys can maybe come back to it later. And I'll mention the, the, um, the, the maker of the, or the, the creator, you know, the channel is the channel is called Lindy Beige. Lindy Beige is spelled L-I-N-D-Y. B E I G E, or, or what I did to ser- what I searched to find it again was spear versus sword, and they're in like fencing gear with legitimate like sword, legitimate like fencing equipment, and they're going at it hard, um, and they Ooh. seem to know what they're doing. So it's it's pretty cool to watch, because uh, you know I, I don't know how many medieval combat type shows I'm watching Kingdom of. of uh, uh, Last Kingdom. Kingdom right now, you know, and they're constantly fighting, you know, sea axes versus long swords. And I'm just like, really? Like, wouldn't the long sword win every fucking time? It's an like, actual gotta... weapon. I always thought hammers and axes were just makeshift weapons, right? Like, well, they're attacking my town and I'm a lumberjack. So I, it, it's like if nowadays there were similar fights, people would be golf, driving like putting irons or that's not a thing. A putting wedge. I, what the, whatever the fuck? I don't golf. Jeff called a putter. A putter. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> People would <laughs> grab a golf club because literally suburban white guys defend their homes with golf clubs. That's just hammers and axes from the old days. They, they're not weapons. They're... Well, the sea axe was a specific kind of axe. You know, okay. it wasn't like a chopping yeah. wood axe. I assumed it's it was a, for chopping sea lighter. creatures and it was just for fishing. For it severing pri- tentacles that try and invade. From what I've read, it was like the primary weapon of those Viking berserker type guys coming okay. down from Scandinavia. But uh, in any case, uh, you know, like, it, it, I think the whole point is that, like, you don't have to be all that skilled to just hack somebody up with an axe. And this is a good, good for hacking. Whereas those swords and stuff look, not only are they really expensive to make, especially back then, but difficult to wield. Yeah. But yeah, this channel's cool. It's cool to see, like, people actually going at it with those weapons and because normally you see like sword versus sword like medieval times nonsense where they're like clanging their swords against each other continuously that would ruin a fucking sword i tried to chop a chicken's leg off one day with my 190 dollar fucking knife it it what (laughs) we'll never know
What happened to the chicken leg? <laughs> I think the chicken leg was fine and the knife was bad based on my you know, intuition of where the story is going. A $190 knife can't cut through a chicken leg? $190 is an expensive knife, but not crazy. Is it, really? Yeah. They, huh. I would consider $400 a Fuck. premium knife. Oh, we, we got one word out of him. Fuck. <laughs> There we go. You're back. Yeah, you're back. What yeah. happened to the chicken leg with the hundred ninety dollars? I, I would have chopped the chicken leg off, and it, you know, I fucked the knife up. It, it, it. Uh, I can't think of the word. It, it but it, it nicked the blade. It that chinks the blade, Kyle. It, ch- <laughs> it, it's like a chink in your armor. Is that the right yeah. word, or is it something else? I think it literally is. Yeah, like a I, chink in an armor is like the the area like. Oh, under the neck oh my, and underneath the <laughs> Is that what a chink in the armor is? I always thought a chink in the armor was the damaged spot, like a ding. It is. It, it's the oh, weak it spot. Is? I thought it was like like when Legolas is like <laughs> saying in Elvish when he's doing Helm's Deep, he's like their armor's weak at the neck and underneath the arm, and so all the elves are shooting for... I thought that was what a chink in the armor is. It's like where you can yeah. sneak an arrow or a sword in. I, that's wrong. only I good advice for armor elves. I would think that a chink yeah, in the armor would go back to like, uh, like chain mail. And it's actually like chinked up in, in a way that, that makes it weak. That that's sort of where my mind goes when I think of it. Like it's, it's definitely like a weak point. It's yeah. it, it, like like especially speaking more broadly, like find out. oh the ch- it, it the the chink in this fighter's armor was his uh, his takedown defense. You know, you, you yeah. guys are right. Uh, it is an area of armor's vulnerability. So all this mm-hmm. time, I thought it was a previously damaged spot like if i hit you with a sword i created the chink in your armor that's not what it notched is. that's what it's called it's called notching the blade yeah when you when you damage a blade i, okay. I knew it was something uh, like that yeah, yeah but I, I notched my fucking fancy ass wustoff knife it was i was very upset oh the germans make great knives i switched to a japanese knife immediately germans <laughs> and japanese there was something about being on the losing side of world war ii that they poured a lot of knife investment in there. They're like, <laughs> we're gonna give the best knives in the world and I got a knife sharpening kit that comes with like uh, four different whetstones, and uh, and you start out at like 400 grit, and you go all the way up to 8,000 grit. Mm-hmm. And by the time I'm at 8,000, and I'm polishing this fucking knife, and it's got like a guide that go- that clamps onto the back mm-hmm. of the knife, so you you're at the perfect angle continuously always. And then when you're done with that, it's got a a, a, a stropping leather, which is like thing you see barbers use in the old movies mm-hmm. with a strop. And what that what does, does that is do? like yeah. The edge of the blade becomes like like this, like all these fibers of of steel that are like sort of going everywhere, and the stropping brings them all in and like bends them uh-huh. all into the same direction. And there's like a diamond I, paste on the leather too, right? Like of some sort. No, no. That's I mean, I maybe mean. that maybe that's a feature of others. How but, do you but, strop it? Do you, you just rub, the, smack the leather? I, on? I I have the leather like threaded through a handle in my kitchen, and so I pull one in taut, and then I run it along it um like the blade away from the cutting edge like like i pull backwards um with the sharp end facing away if, the, if that's yeah yeah that makes sense translating what? does it make so a cool the, sound like a satisfying i'm about to go into battle lord of the ringsy sound no, no nothing like that that's a, that's a sound effect that wouldn't have even happened in real life in any sort of like when they draw a sword out and goes shing like that's bullshit. You're pulling a sword out of either bamboo or leather. That's, that's I am, uh, that is a bit of movies. I'm fine for them to keep. I like the shank. I like my the knife dramatic. is so sharp though. It's incredible. I can take a piece of paper and just it just flows through it. It I'm just flows through it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I ended on that note. I love the that word. Was the play. best shit I've ever heard.